I was in my local antique shop uh, the other day and I came across this old looking puzzle. I don't know how old it is. It says two shillings. So that's what um, we used for money in England uh, before 1973. So it's certainly at least 50 years old. Um, and you probably recognize that it. it's a 15 puzzle, but instead of having the usual numbers on here, we have letters kind of like Scrabble letters with scores on them. Um, are the scores the same as they use in Scrabble? No, because I think T is one in Scrabble, isn't it? But otherwise they all look the same. Oh no, an S is one as well. And the idea is, it's actually really fun. There's some really lengthy rules here, which I'm not going to read out in detail, but roughly speaking, you try and make as many words across and as many words down as you can. Uh, and then you get different numbers of points according to which row and column. So for some reason, the second row and the fourth row and the second column and the fourth row score extra compared with the first and third. Uh, and you get a bonus of 50 if you get, uh, I think, all words in all four um, directions. And you can choose, you know, how long you want to allow for yourself. So I figured, why don't I see how many points I can get in, I don't know, two minutes. So let's uh, start the timer and see. Um, so I don't think that really is a word, is it? But it, it kind of is. Um, uh, let's get... Um, Oh, it's a bit stiff. Oh dear. <laughs> this T doesn't want to move down there. Oh, there we go. Uh, pose. Um, and now the blank apparently can count as any letter you like, so I guess I could make that be an S. Um, what's going on down here? We could have whom. Ah. <laughs> this is stiff. Okay, it is an antique, so I should be very, very forgiving. Oh, well, what? There we go. Um, and then we've got Errol, which is no good. Um, but we've still got what? And what have we got down here? Srat? Well, that's Tars if you're allowed to read upwards. Mm, not sure about that. Um, let's see what else we can do here. Um, we could go for hair instead, but then that W is going to be awkward without an H, so I think I probably want that to be like it is. Um, Much harder than I imagined. <laughs> I'm not doing very well at this. Um. All right. Well, I've gone over my uh, two limit two minutes already. Um, but if I move that down there, I can have pose, aims, and what. And I don't think any of my verticals add up to anything. So what do I get for that? Well, three, four, six, seven. I think that just gets me seven points. Uh, the S counts for nothing, so I get 10, 11, 12, 16, 23. Um, and I think I get something special for it being the second row. When all four, oh, only if all four vertical rows are completed do you get the uh, bonuses. So I got well under 50. I mean, I only allowed myself a couple of minutes, so fair enough. Um, I thought this was just a really fun um, little game and in actually really nice condition, considering it's really quite old. Um, the uh, plastic itself is in very nice condition. These, these squares got a little bit stiff at times, but you can tell from the fact that the letters aren't faded that this hasn't been played very much. I'm guessing it sat in somebody's drawer um, for a fairly long time. The cardboard obviously has seen much better days from being folded up like this. You can see, I guess, this piece of tape was holding it together. But there we go. It's amazing the kinds of things you can find in, um, in antique shops if you go looking for them. So there we are, that's the Fairy Light uh, word quiz, which was originally two shillings. Um, and uh, if you've enjoyed this one, 
you might like to have a look at how to solve the general version of this, the 15 puzzle, in which case watch this video here. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.